we are playing another game of what's in the box package roulette i don't know what's in here we're gonna open this up it's one of those uh it's a case of me ordering a bunch of stuff what the heck is this oh okay yeah that's right Vosti did tell me they were going to send me this. I completely forgot. That was really, really fast. This is a teeny, tiny, little, itty, bitty knife, I believe. Uh, let's see. What is... Doesn't have the name. I forget what it's called. I will append it on the description of the unboxing. Vosti. Love those guys. Really, really cool. They said they were going to send me this to check it out. And here it is. I knew it was itty, bitty. Old me, honestly, old me would have passed on this because um, I would have said it's just too small for me to mess with. Uh, but new me, brand new me is like, bring it on. I'm not scared of, I'm not scared of no ghost. I'm not scared of anything small. Uh, the saving grace for this for me is that it's got thumb studs. I've mentioned it before. The only thing that's off limits now in terms of small knives for me personally and by off limits, I say that loosely, is uh, opening holes on small knives. My fingers are just too big to get in there. There's never enough real estate to make the holes big enough for me to get into. But when we're talking thumb studs, ooh, that is not a problem. The action on this thing is fantastic. Uh, what kind of steel are we rocking? Do we know? Oh, 14C28N. Not super familiar with it. I mean, I've heard it. I know it's a budget steel. Ooh, let's see that front flipper again. Ooh. Not too bad, not too bad. See if I can, uh... oh, come on. I struggle on the small knives with doing the index finger flip. It also probably needs to be broken in before I am able to do that. So what do we have here? We have G10. Cool, 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 like you would expect. What's going on inside? Okay, so we've got inset liners and they are skeletonized. We've got a standoff back here, that's excellent. Uh, right hand, left hand carry, tip up. I love this bronze. I don't know if this is some kind of PVD. I would assume this this is like a bronze PVD. That looks really fantastic. We've got some cool jimping up here. If you're doing like a pinch grip and need to get your index finger up there, as well as if you just want your thumb up really high. Jimping back here, that's completely useless. Um, you can't even use any of this because it's below the scales. This isn't bad right there. Like the actual jimping cut isn't terrible. It's not great, uh, but it's completely below the scales. You can see how it just disappears. So I feel nothing. Jimping is nothing right there. However, however, aha, click in the head. I think the primary point of the jimping is for the front flipping and not so much holding. This is what unboxings are, guys. I don't get a chance to like frame my head on what exactly I'm looking at or how to express myself. It is raw first impressions. I literally didn't even know this was the knife that was in here. I honestly completely forgot that this was coming. Ooh, that lockup is good. We've got liner lock, nice and inset. It's steel, so no stickiness. <laughs> Look at that. This little tiny knife, it's got one standoff up here that also acts as the blade stop. Double duty, two standoffs, that's acting as a blade saw stop. Talk about efficiency, no detent lash. This is a cool little, cool little knife. I wish I knew the name. Nothing in here says the actual name. I will have to look at the messages and see. Let me double check that there's not anything in here. Look at the messages, double check what this is. Uh, is it the mini raccoon? No, I don't think so. This is just a sticker. Support Vosteed, uh, cool stuff. I've always liked Vosteed's knives. Vosteed and Remet are probably my two favorite budget knives out there, or at least companies that offer budget knives, right? They've got uh, more expensive knives, but their budget line is some of my favorite. I think it's really good, done really, really well. This one is super clean with that bronze and black. I think once I get this oiled up and broken in, it is gonna be a little demon. Um, I'm actually surprised how well I can manipulate this little tiny knife here. Do I have, oh yeah. So here's 
the reigning champion of small knives before this. Yep, this may be the smallest knife that I have ever had. Is that possible? I think it might be. I think this is, whatever it is, this unnamed knife that I got today, I think it might be the smallest knife I have ever handled. Quite possibly, other than, other than, I do... Um, I do somewhere, I've got a Spyderco lockback keychain knife, but that one doesn't count. It's a keychain knife. This is the smallest proper knife knife that I think I've ever owned. Really like that flat round blade. It's done really well. See how the PVD is nice and clean up on that edge? Like there's no weird buffing marks or anything uh, that you'll sometimes see on inexpensive knives. Just really, really well done. Nice and clean, even bevel. I really like the blade shape. Uh, despite being so small, I can actually choke up on that. Look at that. It's close, though. It is close. If I got real squirrely with it, it might nick me right there. So have to be a little careful, kind of first knuckle only kind of choking up on this thing. Not that you really need it because you're so close anyways, but let's check the grip. Three finger grip. Pinky's kind of hanging off here unless I go up on the choil here and then I got a full four finger grip. Pretty cool, I'll be honest. Uh, I like the simplistic look. I like the action. I like that it's a front flipper and it has thumb studs. Uh, this is gonna be a fun one. This is gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna spend some time with this guy. Um, thanks for tuning in in this weird unboxing that I wasn't aware I was even doing. All right, guys, talk to you later. What do you guys think of this? I think it's pretty cool. All right, see ya, bye.